Today we are going to be looking at the name Victoria and how to spell it in Arabic. And what a beautiful name, may I add? So this is how the word or the name Victoria looks like. So let's break it down together so we can get a gist of what letters there are. In Arabic, the letter V doesn't really exist. But with more and more names having the letter V in it, like Victoria, we took the letter Qaf and added an additional dot to it, therefore making it V. So this is what the letter V looks like in Arabic. Mind you, it's not an original Arabic letter, but this is what it looks like. This is the letter V. I added a little line right under the letter V, and that line has a name. It's called Kesra. Kesra. And it helps us, um, like, make our... It helps us sound out our letters better. So, for example, if I had a line on top of the letter V, it would be pronounced V. And if I had like a dhamma on top of the letter V, it would be pronounced vu. But for this video, we're only going to be looking at the kasra, and that gives us the V sound in Victoria. So this is the letter kaf, and that's the k sound in Vic Victoria. That's like the K sound in Victoria. And that's what it looks like alone when it's not attached to any letters yet. So that is the letter kaf. Next, we have the letter ta. And that's the T sound in the word Victoria. And look at how it looks like a smiley face. So your letter ta just looks like a smiley face. So that's a good way to remember it. Now I added a little symbol on top. That is called a dhamme. It's called a dhamme. And basically it helps us pronounce the letter ta as two. Like Victoria. Because you can say ta or tu or t. But you want that two sound. So that is why I added a lumma on top of the letter T to get that two sound. So that's what that little um, thing on top of the letter T um, helps you pronounce the letters with like a O sound. So now you have Vic. Next you have the letter Wow. And notice how this is the actual letter. It looks like the little um, the letter, the little haraka or the little thing on top of the letter T. That is the letter wow. And that's like the O in Victoria, really. So now we have Victo. Now we have the letter Ra or the R letter in Arabic, the letter Ra. And that is Victor. So technically, we have the, all the letters that we need to spell Victor, but we don't want to spell Victor. We want to spell Victoria right now. So I also added a kasra under the letter ra um, because it re, right? Because you can, if I have the, a letter r, right, the letter ra, I can say ra or ru or ri. So I really want to get that re sound in Victoria. Then we have the letter ya. So right now we have Victory. But again, we're not trying to spell victory. We're trying to spell Victoria. Mind you, in Arabic, we spell things exactly how we pronounce them. It's not like in English. So, so far we have Victory. And last but not least, we have the letter Elif. The letter Elif is um, just that A sound at the end of Victoria. So let's put all these letters together and see what we have. Mind you that the letters in Arabic combine. What does that mean that they combine? Meaning most letters combine, except for the letter like Waw and Ra in the middle. They don't let letters combine after them. Why? Because they don't play nice. They're two out of five letters that just don't like being attached to any letters after that. But that's how you spell Victoria after it is combined and with all the harakats. Mind you, the little lines again of the little lines on the bottom and the little um, lumma on top of the T. Those are called harakats. They just help us pronounce letters better. So this is the beautiful name Victoria.
and I hope you guys learned something new today. And this is my way of appreciating you guys. I literally love writing people's names in Arabic, so what is your name? I would love to spell your name in Arabic.